welcome back to the channel guys today video is about this 2021 DAF XF it's been in the dike Scott and Jamie fetched it from the dike yesterday morning broke the hill later last night and we give it a quick wash uh, wash this morning and we need to strip it have a, and have a look how bad it is but it don't look that cracking to be honest because that bumper bar corner here yeah, that's all that's all damage so 100% I would say the chassis will be bent especially being fully loaded in the dike so you've got that kind of twist effect I would say but we're gonna strip it all the way around see how bad it is so let's do it Right, we had a quick strip there and had a good look on that chassis off the camera and I don't think you need to look hard but that chassis there you can just tell that shocker is on the on the angle that spring and the other side is as well so that chassis them two chassis legs here are over you know after looking in this dent in that on the run bar this chassis is definitely over so we're gonna take this cab off because we actually did similar kind of job in the past we're gonna take the cab off i know it's gonna need to repair the cab we're gonna put a new door on there and there's a few dents in that locker door over there on them panels then we're gonna take the cab off take the rods out rod is actually knackered anyway and we're going to take the exhaust, tanks, fifth wheel off, everything where we can, even that off. Then probably the Dave and the team from chassis alignment, the uk they're going to come and check it all and make sure they don't want to engine out because we've done a similar kind of job. I wish I filmed it because that was straight after that 40k rebuild Scania. We had a similar kind of job, which the, had the tipper lorry on the back, tipper trailer, sorry. And it was tipping loud and it went over on the on this side so the chassis was bent we stripped the chassis to, to the bare skin apart just the axles axle axles left and well the engine was actually out so that's what we did and i wish i filmed that one but i didn't really expect to channel doing so so great so i'm gonna just unplug everything we're gonna whip the cab off tomorrow and start stripping the chassis so there's gonna be chassis left in the engine so let's do it
Right guys, the cab is off. Not a big deal, to be honest. It's, well, you're gonna need to strip all the plastics down the sides and the front a bit. And then water pipes, a little tip for the people who whoever gonna take the cab off. Water pipes on the uh, cab, this is going to the night heater and all that. Then pipes here are glued to them steel pipes, so you, you better take them off the other end. And they are, this is actually bolted to the side of the radiator here. So that's not a big deal. It's all stripped down the side there. And this side got extra extra wires for, oh, they on the chassis, I'm gonna show you. Obviously this, this bit there is unplugging and it's got like extra stuff on it. All this is for the sensors down the side and the camera system. Sensors down at this side of the chassis for the uh, cyclists and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's quite a mess. But I think we're going to wash it anyway before. Well, we might take the rods off a few bits and we need to wash it. We need to wash it that's because it's 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 messy. You can't really. This side it's it's not too bad on the driver's side. It's got extra pipes for PTO because this is the uh, obviously it's got the tank full of oil so pipes there for the this is for the big tipper bulk lorry uh, trailer sorry so we're going to start stripping this and we see how it goes but the chassis is definitely bent so 100 percent so we might just whip everything off it so let's do it Right guys, we stripped as far as we could. We're gonna take this Monday to wash it. Me and Lee actually stripped it all. Is that right, Lee? That's right, we're getting there. Yeah, I have to, well, the Lee is actually a new guy here. It's, how long have you been here? Oh, what, now, four months. Four months now, yeah. And I know the Lee's brother is watching the channel, is that right? Yeah. <laughs> What's your brother's name? Phil. Phil. So, yeah, Phil is one of the subscribers to the channel, so that's a good guy to me. And yeah, we're going to wash this on Monday, and we're going to take the tanks off, because it's obviously filthy as, as you can be. We strip the chassis, strip the rods, everything, the chassis is definitely bent. Then, front of the chassis are twisted round, and you can see definitely kink under that fifth wheel there in the chassis. I'm going to get you a closer shot closer shot there so you're gonna see it but it's definitely bent there so we're gonna wash it on Monday take the tanks off we only started yesterday on that kind of job so they didn't took a long to whip the cab off and strip it all and I bet I think on Tuesday we're gonna take the engine out so let's do it
Right guys, Tim and Dave already been to look at this chassis. Engine is coming out, Tim tanks are coming out, middle axle are coming off. And I pretty much got everything unplugged now. The chassis been washed yesterday. The prop is nearly off, hanging up there. PTO pump is off. It's not actually holding it. Well, it's not actually a lot plugged into the engine. A couple of pipes there, out blue. Uh, compressor pipe. Two pipes going into the power steering column, to the steering column there. Not a lot, I took the fan off, just to be sure it's safe. Massive wiring loom for the engine. You take it out of there, it comes out here to this wiring loom. It's not a big deal. Two plugs here, pretty much, and all this is this them cables, power cables going from the battery to the starter motor and some junction box in the chassis. It's not a big deal. So, and the air pipe on the back, it's been connected to that tank over there. So, let's get this engine out. Right guys, everything has been stripped, what Dave wanted from chassis alignment, engine out, tanks, pretty much everything. And we just have to swap the tire, what's on the back there, which has been put wrong tire on there after the accident. But you don't have to look hard on that chassis, you can tell, you can tell how down this side is. And that's actually over as well. This one is actually over. Both, well, the back end is actually over as well. The front end is not looking cracking as well. Just gonna show you quickly there. But when you look at that edge, that bottom edge here, you can just tell, and that chassis, it's about that, like that, them chassis legs. We, we, we struggle to fit that on, because we're gonna need them bits to send it to whiz bits to chassis alignment. Yeah, we're going to fit none of the bar, crossbar there, and the cap bar on the top, and it's going out tomorrow. So, I'll catch you guys later. The chassis is back, we've got it here, and the first thing what we're going to do, we're going to just put this engine in first and start building the chassis up. And we actually got a shot from Dave and Tim from chassislimen.co.uk how they was straining this chassis. So I'm just going to run it through now.
engine is in, it's pretty simple process to put it in. Obviously you have to put that engine in the hole. So basically you've got the mounts in here for the engine, drop on the mounts on the front, both, both sides. And on the back here, you've got the mounts on the gearbox side on the back of the engine. Here, both sides with them four star bolts in the back. Drop it in, bolt it, then we probably have to lift it lift the chassis up, lift the chassis up again so I can get more and better access underneath to put some cables in and, and put the middle axle on. So let's do it. Right guys, it's actually next day here. Yesterday we put this engine in, which was 100% plugged in now. Everything's connected and we put this box on the back, battery box and the battery's there, that's all done. We put this axle on, it's 100% plugged in, complete. This oil tank for this. This part, this section here inside there was a bit tricky because it was heavy and we have to lift it all and try to line it all up and to, to this bracket have to go through this gap so you have to undo a few pipes and put it there we've got a diesel tank in there uh, the lee is just going to connect that diesel tank then we're going to uh, put put our blow tank on exhaust on then we're going to put the add blow tank on exhaust on and ideally we need the rats where are they here the rats here we still wait for the new rat and the fan surround and when that's ready we're going to put a rod in and probably later on we're going to put a cab on, so let's do it.
right. Let's see if it's going to start. Should do. Let's hope so. Result. Right, guys. It's all done. Pretty much done. Ninety-nine percent fixed. We're still waiting for the uh, fifth fifth wheel, which is missing, and the run-up rounds, which they on the back order. And we then we can put this back catwalk on. But truck is pretty much fixed. We're still going to road test it, clean it inside. Maybe we'll clean it outside. Uh, Aircon gas to do. That's not a big deal. And we have to go to the DAF or our rebuilds go to the main dealers just to check over and service because they've been off road for sometimes two months three months depends this one has been actually a month and a half yeah a month and a half something like that and some of you probably will ask how much something like this cost i spoke to the daft man and he said the parts was nearly touching 20 grand more or less so i would say fixing all this probably 30 i'm just guessing guys for now I would say 30,000 and hours, easy 100 hours to fix it. So we're pretty much done and we're going to leave it like that for this video. So thank you guys for watching and see you on the next one.